You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi. So you're done now. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know everybody gonna always put y'all up on game and keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. I know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third. Know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all much love, much respect now yesterday i was in my live stream someone asked me a question and i had to think about it for a minute and of course i'm doing it in this video right here the person said bro if you was a dev what are some things you would change and i couldn't answer it instantly because something like that i had to at least put some thought into it now i only got five things right here now of course this list could be way longer right but I'm not going to be doing anything gameplay on this five things, right? On this list of five. No, nothing gameplay. I'm going to do that on the next list. But I'm just talking about overall just things that need to change within the game. And we're going to start off with this number one right here is the cost of bills. Now, Badge Plug actually made this post yesterday. And I'm going to use this as a little reference because it tends to vary when it, when it comes to prices. But he recently created a bill and said, he just made a new bill and it's 306,444 VC to upgrade to 90 overall. Things need to change 2K seriously. I'm lucky enough for this to be my job. That's the same thing I've been saying for a while for me personally. He said, but when I was a kid falling in love with 2K, I would have never got to even play park. My mom would slap the hell out of me if I asked for an extra $100 after she just gave me $70 for the game. Now it's sad, but that's so true. Ain't no way I was asking my mom. Y'all know how black moms do. <laughs> Ain't no way. But it's ridiculous in terms of how much it costs to create a bill right now. And it's probably going to get worse. And it's, sh bro, the history of 2K showing year after year, the prices continue to go up drastically when it comes to creating bills. So this is something I definitely hope that they take a look at because to be honest, man, I started, the only thing that helped me this year a lot, because I started off because I'm a concrete, I have to kind of invest when the game launched. So it's an investment for me personally, right? But after a while, it was just getting ridiculous in terms of how much I had to spend. Then they're popping up like a hundred dollar bill every time. So then I started the no boost and Gatorade movement, which definitely helped me save a lot of money for future bills. And I stopped around four bills or so, and I was able to create over 10 plus bills after that, of course, by just not using boost or Gatorade, which is what brings me to my number two point. My number two thing I need to change is the effectiveness of Boost and Gatorade. It's ridiculous right now. We went from years ago, some years ago, looking at people that use Boost and Gatorade like, bro, you really using that? You really, and, and to be honest, the game didn't really require you to use it. You didn't have to use it. It was just a little extra nudge. Now it's as essential as water is to you or oxygen is to you. You need Boost and Gatorade to really be effective playing in NBA 2K, which really brings the game now to a pay to win system, especially when the boost costs so much that if you use all the boosts and Gatorade in the game, you are playing at a loss, which means every time you play, you literally paying out to play per game. So to be competitive, you have to spend VC, which is the definition of pay to win. Now, hopefully they listen to this cry or we take a stand going forward to change this 
the effectiveness of this boost and gatorade system now i know they probably got a contract with gatorade and just based on that contract they probably cannot remove the gator but at least the effectiveness of these things i'm not saying that they don't help you a lot in fact i want them to be taken out let's take them out of the game completely but i understand at the end of the day there have to be some middle ground somewhere at least the effectiveness how effective it is right now y'all gotta tone it down a lot <laughs> okay not even some a lot so let me know what y'all think about that as well now the third thing and i know a lot of people will disagree with me on this one but as someone who plays a lot with random because i wanted to get to that legend or grind to legend i want them to bring back and give us the ability to grind to legend by playing my career not everybody plays park play rec not everybody like to play online some people want some rewards for them playing a game where they just get in there a stress-free environment against some cpus and they're dropping off the cpus there gotta be some reward in my career in fact since they removed the grind to legend in my career my career damn near instantly died instantly died because now what's the incentive of me putting in that time in my career when i'm not getting any progression at all they have to be some kind of incentive even the story mode right now is like eh okay we go to the story mode, and then we lose interest because guess what you're playing all this time and it feels like you're putting in a lot of time that's not going to anything that will benefit you in the long run so you have to consider bringing back that legendary grind in my career i'm just saying i know a lot of people won't agree it is what it is in fact i know a lot of y'all when people was hitting legend through playing my career y'all was, was mad because y'all were listening to certain content creators who always got a squad but as a solo player and of course i could get a squad every time i want but sometimes i just want to go and chill i want to play squad all the time i like to run random sometimes and that stresses me out and then i want to go to my career and just chill while i play some my career i could look at some brute tutorials to get better at the game shameless plug <laughs> you know what i'm saying but they need to make my career come for something man for something my career been dead for the past few years and even me as a mockery had been losing interest man so this is the only way i see that it could actually get us back in there and having fun with that mode again now the next thing we need number four on my list is better organized matchmaking system now the reason i said this why in a game like call of duty right you could afford for them to put you out there like they do to me all the time put me on some trash ass squads and then put me against some killers because i could still run around and get some kills although my teammates gonna be selling the game i could still have fun in a system like that but in 2k you need to have people that play similar to you very similar for it to be a decent game you don't want to be out there with a bunch of trash people no offense if you're not that good at the game i still understand you someone like me putting in a lot of time someone like you don't have the time i understand so i'm just using this loosely trust me don't get sensitive so if you match up a bunch of people who now learn the game against some people who now learn the game they could figure out the game together but if you have someone who understands spacing who understands the importance of ball movement and find the open person instead of going up into three people you find like-minded people it's going to be a better game or a game with much better flow which is going to be more enjoyable how are y'all doing that y'all could probably look at grades as a means of matching up people like the grade ratings because trust me every time i play the people even though they're scoring a lot their grade gonna be low the people that play the right way in terms of the right spacing and moving the ball and getting assists and playing good defense and stuff like that tend to have better grades but it might just be me but they need to figure out a way to match skill people with skill people in nba 2k it's not like call of duty where you could throw me out there and i'll play with a bunch of trash people and i will have so much fun okay and even the trash people are gonna have fun because they don't even care anyways but i'm just saying you need to have a better matchmaking system in place. And I'm talking about for the solo rec system. 
That's what I'm talking about, the solo rec system. And squads versus squads, I don't care. But in, term, in terms of the solo system, they need to have something better in place when it comes to online matchmaking. Not just rec for the theater and all that. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, last but not least on my list, and I know current gen have this. That's a bar. <laughs> Bring back the my court with the basketball gun machine. We need this. We need this. We need this. It's, I'm tired of current gen laughing at us. We are actually homeless on next gen for the second year back to back. Well, actually, we, we no, we wasn't homeless really last year. But our house was useless, pretty much. We didn't have no mic court there or anything. So we had a whole big spot, okay? And we didn't, it, it didn't have no purpose. So even if you unlock, unlock the spot, it, it was useless. You couldn't even sit down. You couldn't do nothing there. So it was useless. But we need to bring back and give us back this mic court with a ball machine, a place where we could go practice and chill for free. A place where we don't have to, we don't need anyone to come pass us the ball. We got a ball machine. A place where we could go and learn to dribble again. And this is not asking too much. It's already in current gen. That's a bar. Jesus Christ. That mix big that, that mixtape. I said mix big. That mixtape coming soon. But anyways, man, that's my five there again. We could make this a much longer list, but you see the video is already 11 plus minutes going, man. So I already know I can't really get into detail if I put in too much things. So y'all could continue the list in the comment section, y'all. Trust me, continue the list. I'm going to definitely put this video out and tag a few people, you know what I mean, to make sure it's being seen. But we need some changes going forward in this game. Overall... Still, still, I'll go down as one of the few saying that NBA 2K23 is one of my favorite games so far that 2K dropped. And just a few tweaks and stuff right there could just make it, push it in the right direction going forward, man. One of my biggest gripes, again, was cost of business within the game. Of course, we're talking about boost and cost of doing bills and stuff like that, as I mentioned before. But again... A few adjustments and the, the future is looking bright for 2K. So anyways, man, let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Sim, first time to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Have a blessed one. Till next time, be safe out there, y'all. Peace.